Duct tape, zip ties, and the dark hood. That's how police say they found a kidnapped tow truck driver two nights ago. Hello, everyone. I'm Tim Maestas. The men police say kidnapped the driver met face to face with a Metro Court judge today. One even asked for release without bond. News 13's Crystal Gutierrez is live in the Newsplex with more on that, Crystal. And Tim, the judge thought the man was making a joke when he asked for the no bond. But what's in this arrest warrant is no laughing matter. Yeah, Mr. Arion, it's the nature of the allegations. Um, I'm being extremely serious now. They're very serious allegations. And it's not too often you get this type of response from a Metro Court judge, but it's not every day an arrest warrant details the kidnapping of a tow truck driver. After tying somebody up and doing that kind of stuff to someone, I don't think, you know, I, I think they should, they should keep them. Neighbors were also shocked. It's all spelled out in this criminal complaint. Police say a Beltran tow truck driver got a call from someone needing a tow at Bob's Burgers on Eubank and Chico. The tow truck driver and caller meet up. They get out of their vehicles. Police say the caller said the vehicle needing a tow was around the corner. But before they even left the parking lot, he zapped the driver with a stun gun as another man ran up with a handgun. But before the driver knew what happened, he had zip ties around his wrists and ankles, duct tape across his eyes, and a dark hood over his head. The charges are kidnapping and armed robbery, aggravated battery and conspiracy. After a 911 call, police say they found the tied up driver in this house being watched by 40 year old Steve Adianis and his 28 year old accomplice. Up next is uh, Bernardo Escobedo. Today, Adianis asked the judge to set him free without bond. You, you, must be, um, you must be making a feeble attempt at humor. But the judge wasn't laughing, and neither were residents when they found out what happened here Thursday when police swarmed their neighborhood. Yeah, and do all that. There's some crazy people out here. And the judge kept the bond for both men at $100,000 cash only. Tim, back to you. Okay, Crystal, we tried contacting the tow truck company today, but no one wanted to comment. A woman...